Welcome to The Late Show. I'm Stephen Colbert. Uh, as you can tell, I've got my sexy post-Labor Day voice tonight. Everybody else have a good weekend? Yeah! It's extraordinary. It's extraordinary. I know who didn't have a good weekend was President Obama. He flew to China for Labor Day because he wanted to see where American uh, labor went. And uh, the president is there for his very last G20 summit. So the next time he talks to international economics, it'll be with a really bored person at a party. <laughs> What's that? Oh, yeah, 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 Mr. President. Those tariffs really sounded like a terrible idea. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on one second. Helen! <laughs> if you ever have to better deal somebody at a party, just say, yell the name Helen and walk away. <laughs> No one's going to say you don't yeah. know somebody named Helen. Right. There's Everybody knows somebody named Helen. Yeah. Uh, right. There was a bit of a rough patch uh, at the beginning of the meeting when uh, Chinese officials would not let President Obama get off Air Force One using the normal staircase or Stair Force One. God, I hope it's called. <laughs> so Obama instead had to use a smaller metal staircase that folded out from under the plane. That's right. The Chinese made him use the fold away. The Jennifer convertible of stairs. <laughs> Naturally, Donald Trump uh, weighed in uh, because, uh... <laughs> because Donald Trump. They won't even give him stairs, proper stairs. Do you see that? Yeah. yeah. They have pictures of other leaders that are come going there, and they're coming down with a beautiful red car. But he's coming down a metal staircase in the back of the plane. I gotta tell you, if that were me, I'd say, you know what, folks? I respect you a lot. Let's close the doors, let's get out of here. It's a sign of such disrespect. Wait a minute, wait. So that's it? You don't give him the staircase and he goes away? Uh, Mr. Trump, uh, what kind of staircase would you really not want? Uh, I'm just asking for uh, my grandchildren. <laughs> now, Trump knows what he's talking about, by the way, when he talks about stairs. He knows when you want to make a grand entrance, you do it on a really slow escalator. <laughs> That's how the president enters the food court of the mall. And airport stairs weren't the only thing insulting President Obama. He was supposed to meet today with Rodrigo Duterte, the president of the Philippines, hopefully to get to the bottom of why Philippines is spelled with a PH, but Filipino is spelled with an F. That is PH'd up, in my opinion. But. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Really? <laughs> but the meeting has been called off because when Obama said he would confront Duterte about his summary execution over 2,000 suspected drug offenders in the Philippines, Duterte dutore him a new one, <laughs> calling President Obama the son of a whore. <laughs> Look, I don't know how they do things in the Philippines, but over here we do not attack the woman who gave birth to the president, okay? We attack where she gave birth to him. <laughs> and it turns out President Duterte has a bit of a Duterte mouth. <laughs> because just last month, he insulted the U.S. ambassador, saying, the son of a whore, he pissed me off. <laughs> and when Pope Francis visited the Philippines, Duterte attacked him by saying, Pope, son of a whore, go home. <laughs> Of course, the Pope is a holy man, very yeah. patient. He responded by saying, I will go home right after I stop by your mom's. <laughs> Say hi. Say hi. What an honor. What an honor. <laughs> what an honor to have the Pope visit your mom. Now, in Duterte's defense, he is not the first person to hurl this insult. We all remember when President Reagan blew up the internet with this. Mr. Gorbachev, your mother is a whore. It worked. It worked. Wall came down. 
People forget that part. It did. They only remember, they don't remember the polite hey, parts hey. of Reagan. Hey. Now, can you really understand a word I'm saying right now yeah, with my throat? I'm it out. You can hear it? Yeah. Is this a good sound? It's nice. It's smooth. It's like the radio, you know? Like, this is smooth? That's smooth, but oh. like Louis Armstrong smooth. So I'm smoking a lot of weed, is what you're saying. <laughs> I sound like, oh, that is nice. Oh, I feel like I sound like Brenda Vaccaro. <laughs> Ask your parents. Now, <laughs> the president doesn't have to put up with stuff much longer because a bunch of people out there want his job. And Hillary Clinton had a rough time campaigning this weekend. <coughs> I've been talking so. <coughs> 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 That's a lot of coughing. I, uh, yet another Hillary Clinton hacking scandal. <laughs> a quick... <clears throat> quick note of advice. If people are questioning your health, madam, and you've got a terrible cough, don't do it straight into the mic. <laughs> but Hillary Clinton did have a nice recovery. <coughs> Every time I think about Trump, I get allergic. <laughs> Yeah, she gets allergic, which is bad news, because not even Hillary can afford an EpiPen. <laughs> Speaking of... I didn't raise the prices. <laughs> Speaking of Hillary, have you heard about the latest FBI report on her emails? Probably not, because they put it out the Friday before Labor Day. You can't hide that news more if you welded it inside a lead capsule and fired it into the heart of the sun. <laughs> and one of the big revelations of this, this latest email dump is that Secretary Clinton didn't use just one smartphone in office as Secretary of State, as she originally claimed. She used up to 13 different mobile devices in four years. 13 cell phones. Madam Secretary, tell the truth. Are you a crack dealer? Because <laughs> I can't figure out why else you would need 13 phones. <laughs> Meanwhile, <laughs> it's actually better if I talk up here. It's much easier. <laughs> This is much smoother hey, up here. Hey, hey, hey. This is very nice. That works. Meanwhile, that works too. over the weekend, the crown prince of Trumpland, Donald Trump Jr., tweeted this photo with the hashtag Millennials for Trump. Now, a lot of people have questioned this photo from people who don't think it's real to people who thought it looked like a Scientology poster. Because <laughs> the photo does seem a little stiff. But they had a ton of fun at the photo shoot. I know because we actually obtained some exclusive behind-the-scenes footage. Jim? Oh. Oh, my God. You're on fire. I'm on fire. Somebody call the fire department. We need an arson investigation. This is so amazingly hot right now. Right, look, there, there. Less, less. Yep. Yeah. That's wonderful. That, that you're young, you're fabulous, you're Trump children. Give that to me. Oh, good Lord. Yes, absolutely. But you're inhuman monsters. You rule the night. You feast on human flesh. Perfect. All right, you're young, you're hip, you're reaching out to millennials. You don't care, devil may care. Give me some relax, give me hip, give me great. Perfect. Now change it up. Change it up, anything. Do anything different. Anything at all. Just change it up in any way at all. Perfect. Talk to me with your eyes now, okay? I want your eyes to be dead. Nothing, okay? You've just realized you live in a gilded cage for the rest of your life and there's no escape, okay? And money does not buy happiness. Yes! All right, let's soften things up a little bit. Give me a look that says that you've all agreed never to talk about that homeless man you killed his children. <laughs> yes! All right, just for fun, I'm gonna shoot some video, all right? Hold that, hold that look right there, that's good. Hold it, now go crazy. Perfect, now calm down again. Now go crazy again. Show me passion, show me sexy. How about a little laugh, ha ha, and dead inside again. Beautiful. All right, you guys were amazing. I think you've got everything we need. You're incredible to work with. Let's just do one more set, and this is for the baby calendar. Perfect. We've had a great show tonight, everybody. Harry Connick Jr. will be here. And Donald Trump goes to Detroit. Stick around.